you want to be one of the cool guys, buy my merch. What's going on, people? Someone just commented asking to see like a full day of eating. Like what I eat all day. I think they're trying to make sure I don't eat just shit all day. Like meal deals and... I've just been for a five mile run. Nice casual one. It's pissing down. But I'm going to take a quick shower. Start my breakfast. Usually it's a bit earlier but my schedule isn't sort of up and running just yet. So it's half nine now. Probably would have had breakfast by now. And be on to something else. It's sort of last few weeks before we start ramping things up. Make the most of a little lion now and then. So I'm going to get showered. And my morning routine actually. I like to wake up. I do my five minutes of like visualisation or whatever. And I like to stare out the window. And it's nice because we have some trees. I stare into the woods for about a couple of minutes. And usually my cat joins me. And that's kind of fun. I always have like a little bit of a cold shower as well. I have a bit of a hot one with the soap. Because it seems to work better. So it doesn't seem to smear into your body without a heat. A cold shower, it kind of sticks to you. And then breakfast. And then I take about 60 pills. That sets me up for the day. Just out of the shower. And number one thing I have to run, obviously, is hydration. I like to drink a lot of water. Mm. I make porridge. And I make a coffee. Smeg. The toaster doesn't match yet. Don't worry about that. I'm making a coffee. It's, I like interesting coffee, all right? Whatever. I know some people hate on it. But I did read somewhere there is actually some health benefits of instant coffee. Overground coffee, so don't take my word from it. Do your own research. Apparently there's some more uh, nutrients available in it. Let's add stuff. Obviously caffeine, like ground coffee, has a higher coffee content. But then also, like, it's a lot of messing around with the other shit. You get the plastic pods, you don't really want it in the plastic. Then you got the tin pots, and then they got, like, aluminium. And it's got all, like, some weird oil on it. And want that shit. Ground coffee is my supplementation. I like taking these collagen shots from uh, Nutrition X. It's the only collagen I can take that doesn't upset my stomach. Like all the other ones that like made me gag and I can't take them. I like to take this. They are not a sponsor. I do buy these. <laughs> they are good. I think they're... Look, it's not delicious. But it's fine. Then we have zinc picolinate. Again, do your own research before you do your supplements. I've done mine. Can't rattle off the top of my head why I take everything, but there was a time where I did research it and I do know why. Why is it? I know why. Testosterone enhancement, brain performance, magnesium glycinate with added B6. It's gonna help performance, it's gonna help recovery. Even your mood, apparently. Vitamin D. Okay, vitamin D. I don't fuck around with vitamin D, I take extra strong vitamin D. 4000 I use, none of this. One second. So the sun did just come out. I'm going to take 8,000 IUs of vitamin D. Okay. okay. Ashwagandha. Make sure when you take a supplement, you look into what the variety of the supplement is. Because you get, I don't know, I'm off the top of my head. But there's different types of zincs that do different, like less effective, less absorbent, like all that shit. Same with like ashwagandha, so I did my research and apparently the best one is KSM 66. All right, that's the one I got. And I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe someone, I'm sure someone does know better. But that was the one that was suggested and on my research that was the one. So it was better. And then also, you know, look at the ingredients of shit. Because I had some, I can't remember what it was, I think it was vitamin C and it had all fillers and I was like fucking talcum powder in it and all sorts of shit. It's just like, like what is that crap? And I was taking it for ages before I even looked. So now, I like to at least have a look. You've got E numbers and crap like that, like why? I don't want to take fucking vitamin D and it's got like, Blue colouring in it or something, you know what I mean? Organic turmeric, ginger and black pepper. It's the advanced formula, I'll take their word for it. It's got no fillers in it. Fawn, super EPA, but it's like Amiga Freeze, you know, good shit. It's good shit. I don't usually take this one, I usually take the Nordic Naturals one, the ultimate Amiga Free. It's like the sports Amiga Free. But this is the one I got. I've also got P2, it's good for the bones. B12, okay, this is check on the Barrett bullshit. Did have some probiotics, but they've gone bad. Make sure you hydrate when you take all your supplements. And also, make sure you eat something around the time you take them, because then you start to feel sick. It will get you. Oh, yeah, a couple more. Vitamin C. That's free, 3,000. Yeah, 3,000. And creatine. These ones from Val are pretty good. They just like choose. Good if you're on the go. I ran out of creatine and started using these ones. Not a sponsor. I've done a video on my breakfast before. The porridge, the mega porridge. You know what's going on. I don't just eat shit. Bagels, I made them myself at home. I didn't make them myself, but they were made at home. Just a top tip from a professional athlete, you cat. What? What? What do you want? Oh, well, she's pissed off. Top tip from a professional athlete. If you have hired a nutritionist and he says, I'm gonna need you to measure this out, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need 100 grams, tell him to get fucked, all right? So listen, thanks mate. 
Appreciate you. You're the bollocks, you're the man. I ain't measuring nothing. Just say that. I don't care how much you're paid, how good he is, how qualified he is. Do not listen. Do not listen ever. Do not measure a thing. We're all different. Okay, so never ever measure. When you measure, you take out the pleasure. Just eyeball it. And it's a real joy, because sometimes you get too much, sometimes you get too little. Sometimes it's perfect. My assistant, you all right? It's all right, she can be on the counter. I saw her clean her ass this morning, so she had her tongue right in there. Good old girl. You're a freak. Yeah, I made this myself yesterday. It's a um, strawberry jam. <laughs> I definitely made it myself. Yeah, I just wake up and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make strawberry jam today. More for health reasons. Palm oil free. It's good for the, good for the monkeys. So you don't chop down their, their trees, bless them. Stir a room. And we've got some Suffolk honey from Broke Hall Park. I'm not trying to lose weight at the minute, so. I don't know, I feel like, oh, there's so much sugar and calories. To be fair, I pretty much eat this all over the fight anyway, so. Other plans for them, just gonna sort of train him. Usually get a sports massage. I'm gonna do a bit of Muay Thai. That's my Friday. Usually gear up for a big Saturday sparring. But I haven't got my massage today. Usually have Nando's on Friday. It kind of goes against the idea of the video. <laughs> but it's a tradition. On Friday, I get Nando's. So fuck off. Oh, I just got a package. Postman was nice. He was tip. UFC part. <laughs> Being like, but like, what's less than Zed? Like, Zed less famous is kind of funny. It's like someone might have seen you somewhere, but they don't know. Oh, these are pretty cool. Can't burn on my porridge. One more seat. Pretty cool. The artwork from Average Joe. Thanks guys, that's very cool. We've got the almond porridge bowl. Almond butter, homemade strawberry jam, cinnamon, Suffolk honey. I was a big fan of the prison style porridge for a while. I would literally just boil the kettle and pour the water in and have it. This is like lower calorie and all that shit. And easier to make, it's shit. And like, there's some good stuff in milk, yeah? I only should get it from a good place. I know there's some vegan that is out there that might not be buzzing about it, but I was raised in the dairy. I'm doing all right. Unless you're lactose intolerant, it's not what it is, don't do it. I'm just gonna kind of do some BBC. <laughs> I thought it was something else. It was like suggested big BBC. But it's not like the BBC logo, it's like, it just says BBC. <laughs> I'm just gonna do some stuff prior to comments. Um, maybe buy some training gear, probably the almighty stuff. Like, let's put some posts about. Kind of like pretending I'm busy for the day. I'm gonna get a snack of pineapple. I cut the pineapple myself. You actually didn't. Yeah, I didn't also make jam and I didn't make bagel. bagel. I cut half the pineapple, I cut the pineapple a little bit and I fucked it up, so I got replaced. It was juicy. I like a bit of pineapple. Probably have pineapple a few times a week now. I like it, it's good, it tastes good. It's good for you. Inflammation. Some good anti-inflammatory markers in there. High in vitamin C. All right, I'm gonna go do some shopping. So we're back for lunch. We've done some errands. Like I say, Friday's a bit of an easier day. I just go for a nice run, get a massage, and um, do a really tough Muay Thai session to try to stay fresh for a sparring tomorrow. I'm not on a particular diet at the minute, but I've got two salmon fillets. I've got a whole load of broccoli, some potatoes. I like potatoes, actually, it looks good. I did not cook this. That's why I didn't film myself. Oh, and also I've got a puka tea, lemon, ginger, and manuka honey. And again, more water. I've already drunk a, a litre already today. Usually you have three to four litres a day, like on, a, on an average day. Oh, yeah. Do you want a kombucha as well? <sighs> kombucha. I don't mind a kombucha. It's good for your guts, apparently. And if your guts looked after, then everything else is good. And the table we're eating on is Victorian. It's from the 1800s. Got it from an antique shop from 130 squid. It's a little bit low. Sometimes my legs get caught and then when I try to sit under it, so I'm gonna have to get some stilts or something. Bit of history. I just done like an antique shop for a bit while we got it. Yeah, probably during like camp. This is the kind of thing I would eat, but just a bit less of it. Probably like one salmon fillet, maybe a few less, maybe sweet potatoes, a little less broccoli, I guess. It's the Arnold Island mukbang. Oh. Oh. How about 6 a.m.? She starts plucking the carpet. Sometimes I'm up before her. So this morning it was about I woke up late, so it was about seven. Plucking, and she comes in, she does like big stretches. She like rubs her body against me, like loves me. As soon as I feed her, she doesn't give a fuck. As soon as I feed her, she's like, don't even touch me. Now I've got food, she wants to be my friend again. One thing I've learned about having a cat, they will put their ass on anything. Table mats, laptops, iPads. Everyone's always asking for cat content. 
dog content, animal content, my dad content. I've got a training session, and then it's dinner, probably have a little snack in between somewhere. Yeah, just fuck off, they're my potatoes. Oi! See you later. We're off to Nando's. I love Nando's. Go with your Nando's to Nando's. Go to Nando's. It's a little bit of a Friday tradition in a way. I haven't actually eaten that much today. Usually I eat a little bit more than I have. But I had a big lunch, kind of felt a bit. I felt a bit like I was gonna throw up when I was doing Muay Thai, so I'd say I'm just sort of living normally at the minute, so I might get a bit of cake. Fuck off, you're judging. Like, hey, you need to be eating organic rice, bananas, and gluten free. I'm a fighter, I'm not a fucking idiot. Or maybe I'm an idiot because I'm a fighter. I'm gonna comment that, it's just weird. It's not like the best fighters you know, like live off shit. Like, literally, Floyd Mayweather was like famous for eating McDonald's and sweets. And, like, one of the best of all time. And Silver was sponsored by Burger King, and I'm pretty sure he was eating that shit too. I think my diet's pretty good compared to most. And that's great. The only bad thing is I can't go any hotter than the medium sauce. It burns my asshole. Sometimes, like, if someone orders like hot chicken before you, their chicken's hot. The grill is now contaminated. So now my medium gets a little upkick of spice. Wait, don't lie. You don't get medium. You get less and herb. Oh yeah, I don't even get that, yeah. No, I can handle medium. I've never once seen you get medium. I know, yeah, because lemon and herb is bad. They're out of fucking natas. Yeah, I'm trying to do the video and say I don't eat shit, man. Eating like, everything from Nando's. It's a big Friday though, isn't it? Bad day to do the filming. Over to Sainsbury's to get some natas, maybe see if they've got something. Yeah, Nando's had no natas. Obviously, I couldn't talk in Nando's because it's so loud. I love a nata. Pisses me off they didn't have any. So I went over to Sainsbury's and they also were sold out of their natas as well, which aren't as good. Waitrose is across the street from my Nando's. They were also closed. Yeah, shit tons for natas. A Friday, Friday, what I do. Obviously, I'm not dying at the minute, so I'm kind of just eating what I want, but that's typically what I would eat in a, in a Friday, in a training day. Actually, I think usually I eat a little bit more. I kind of just, yeah, I don't know why. I didn't eat as much as I usually eat. When you're training a lot, you got to fuel your training. you got to eat. you got to help you, let yourself have a snack. you got, you got to treat yourself now and then. We're all going to die one day, so have something fun. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Expect more breakdowns, fight reactions, training videos, food videos, other shit. Thanks for watching. Press the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future uploads. Help us grow our channel. Get over to almightymerch.shop. Get yourself some uh, merchandise. Thank you.